Okay, so I think I got a, a little bit here. Um, I have been gone for uh, like four hours and now I'm ready to start this again. Um, I think I finally figured this out because I was looking at this briefly and I was trying to rub this because, you know, it's a thumb, so why not try to rub it? I, rub it. I was thinking, and all that's doing is making this triangle happen, right? And then I was like, oh, wait. The shape is the triangle, not a rectangle, not an oval. I'm, I'm stupid. I, I don't know why. Anyway, it should be triangle, so let's go ahead and try a triangle. This is my hopeful final guess. If not, then I don't know. Of course it works. Okay, so let's make this bigger. Um, yeah. Move this up. Okay, so welcome to MPH Games. We got trash, we got email, we got documents, we got photos, video chat, staff chat, video archive, and help. Um, I'll move this, move this over a smidge so you guys can say, let's make it smaller. Make it smaller. There we go. NPH Games, okay, so we got start in the bottom left. That looks like it's gonna take us to the same thing there. We got trash, let's see what's in the trash. Ooh. Image viewer. Box one, prototype, looks like a prototype. Neil Patrick Harris, prototype. I wonder if we can just do this and keep this. This is kinda cool. Oh, you can only open one thing at a time. Ah, uh, okay. Decoder. It's X'd out though. Let's look at the movie. Just go in and order here. What? Okay, we got ground. NPH games. Okay. I'm thinking like one of these is going to be like, wow! He's a good looking dude. I'll give him that. He's, he's, he's pretty handsome. I don't see anything cryptically interesting about these, but he's a, he's a good looking dude. NPHSS password 3091987. I'm writing that down. I'm writing that down right here. There's something making sound. Weird. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, the keyboard. Okay. NPH password. I'm going to write that down uh, word for word here. NPHSS, NPHSS password. Three zero nine one nine eight seven. Now everyone knows this word is password. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, it's good. You actually have to pause the video. You can't just wait till the end. Okay. So there's that. That was that movie, right? Right. And then printing press. That is loud. We're gonna watch that one more time just for fun. Quality and speed, hmm. I don't think these, this on the side there, I don't think that's useful. It glitches, I can't imagine that's useful. We'll come back if we need it. Okay, so let's, you can hit trash, you can hit empty, but I don't think I want to do that. I'm afraid. <laughs> it's like, he yeah, emptied. That suck. Uh, email. Sent. We got inbox with nothing. We got drafts. We got trash. We got sent. Notepad and pen. Oh my good. Martin Maloney. From, okay. Yeah, they should all be from Martin Maloney. So I think we, this is to NPH. Okay. Neil Patrick Harris. Um, this is May 15th. 2019. Okay, so I think we should include the notepad and pen after thinking about it. It just makes the most sense. Plus, we'll make it look really nice. We could even put your logo on the pen. Oh, this is this is where they're going to talk about the hitting compartment, huh? Sent by Martin Mahoney. 
Uh, Marty, adding the pen and notepad is going to make the game box bigger. I think that will be an issue. I don't know if there are any or many trivia games that include a pen and paper pad. There are things people usually have laying around. These are things people usually have laying around home. Neil, I'm thinking just this is 11.09 a.m. Wait, why are these? This is the latest one. Interesting. Uh, so I'm thinking just the trivia cards in the box is going to look too, look small, so uh, we should add something else like pen and paper or something. I think that's just the clue, like, what are you going to do with the pen? Oh, we could take it apart. I like how that was the first thing I did, though. Take it apart, and it's like, yep. Trivial! It says an attachment. MP3. This message has no content. Okay. Might be a voicemail. Yeah, okay. MBH, it's MM here. Uh... Had a bit of a brain tickle. Wanted to run it past you. Brain tickle. I think that for the actual trivia, I think we should have them be not trivial. Think about it. Did this blow your mind? Call it back. Mm. I'm debating whether or not this is Morse code here. That looks like an awfully long Morse code message. But the rest are, you could be dots and, do, dots and dashes. MBH, for the actual trivia, I think we should have them be not trivial. Think about it. Did this blow your mind? No, no, no. Okay. Game components. Oh my god, this is a long thing. Because this is just nothing. This is, okay. Martin Maloney! How do you make your game bigger? Just put a lot of stuff in here. Okay, um, April 27, 2019 at 9.42 a.m. Game component alts. Uh, we got a, a thing there. What happened first? 9.32, this is latest. Okay, so let's start at the bottom here. Um, I feel like we should start all the way here anyway. Game time, okay. Uh, yeah, 11.09 a.m. Okay, this is where we start. Happy New Year, buddy. This is all email. We got documents, photos, video chat, staff chat, and video archive and help later. Okay. This is maybe we don't click the help button. I think it's going to do the same thing. I like how the time is actually the real time, though. That's kind of cute. Oh, you guys can't see that. I'll show you here. Real time here. Real time here. Can you? Oh, there we go. Real time here. You can see that. That's cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, to Martin Mahoney, game time. Happy New Year, buddy. So word is everything with a maze is going really well. People really seem to dig it, even though some of the ciphers are more challenging than others. It was a nice collaboration between the two of us. And I think it's time we get to work on the trivia game we talked about. The format is pretty interesting, and I think we can develop it together into something special. Oh, that's to Martin. Cool. Uh, game time. Happy New Year. Dude, how are you even awake, awake right now? You're a machine. Great. This is... 6 and 19 a.m. and this is now 10:58. okay uh great to hear about amazing and yeah the trivia concept we talked about last night was pretty fun i think we can work with that idea and run with it let me know if you're headed into the office today i can meet you there and we can jam on some ideas martin i feel like i'm looking at the um the map here i'm thinking it might be uh a map of their office. We have to figure out where the heck the guy is. And, and I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Well, I guess you remember he's kidnapped. Um. Yep. Here now. What? Let me know if you're headed in the office. I can be there. We can jam site. Yep. Here now. Okay. Okay. I'll be there soon. Small eye on the aisle. I'm not happy with that. Making a huge cup of coffee first. Um. Cool. That's it. Logistics. Martin, you think this all seems like a good plan? If we focus on trivia, that will give us a chance to reach a wider audience. Who doesn't like trivia? Hey. Trivia's okay. Um, if I have a computer, I like trivia. <laughs> I'm so bad at it myself. Uh, yeah, buddy, I think everything we talked about with this game sounds possible. With your love of, for puzzles and trivia and my passion for code breaking, this will be a fun project to work on together. This is from Martin. Okay. 
What do you, when do you want to have the game in stores? Was hoping by fall 2020, that will give us enough time to develop the game, make sure all the trivia questions make sense. We're still thinking this would be a two player game. Okay, and then we got on to this one. Uh, should we end up using pin codes, four digit or six digits? I wonder if these are actual correspondence in making this. Was thinking more like a cipher key. Oh, like a Caesar cipher? Uh, hey Neil, picking up the conversation about using a cipher for something, I attached a voice memo with another thought. Let me know what you think. Are these both by Martin? Did he double send? He double sent. Ah, oh, what a tool. Hey Neil, uh, it's Martin. I think it would be cool if the player had to use a decoder ring to solve different codes. So like they would need to twist it so that A equals F. Then they'd be able to solve either ciphers that we left for them by switching out the coded letters for the solutions. Right? Makes sense? Anyhow, call it back. I'm writing A equals F. Okay, we only got a couple more of these. This isn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot more to read than this, but this is fine. Box figures. This message has no content. Okay, so it's just the audio here. Hey, NPH. It's Martin here. Um, just had a thought about the design of the box. I think that we might be able to squeeze a couple more secrets in there. I don't know. Just had some ideas. Hit it back. Set your hand to go find that A equals U. <laughs> okay, we got a longer one here. I think this is, yeah, this is where we kind of dovetailed it. And okay, uh, Martin, we need to need some alt game components, something really creative to include in the game, something mysterious. Sent from MPH. Um, okay, so how about a puzzle box or something that looks like one thing but is actually something totally different? The player can slide the walls of the box and it opens a special key to reveal a skeleton key. Too complicated? Any other ideas? Need something really amazing that other games don't have. Secret boxes, loaded dice, anything? And then we got another audio thing here. Thoughts? Neil! Martin, um, I know you poo-pooed the idea of the 20-sided die. <laughs> I want to reintroduce that. D20. There's a lot of possibilities. Oh, do I get a D20? It must be kind of a one-man RPG. A lot of decision points. That'd be cool. I know it's it's a, it's a different direction that we were going in, but I really think I just had this idea. Call it back. Oh, I hope I get a D twenty. I hope that's what's in that little secret compartment in the in the in the insert. Anyway, I think that's where we got there. Um, that was that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Trivial. Maybe you don't have them be trivial. No pen and pen. Okay, that's it, because there's nothing in the inbox, only scent has the seven tra drafts and trash. And I don't think, I kind of want to, I can't drag them in, that'd be funny. Okay, so trash email is done, documents. This is called notepad artwork doc. That looks like my notepad. I don't think there's any differences. It'd be cool if there were, then you'd be like, that's what's missing. Nah. I like how if you guys, you guys can't really see this, I'll show you here. If you look in the upper right hand corner there, there's a little floppy disk. And that's exactly what we got with the little floppy disk here. It's really cool. Um, if you can zoom in right there, there's one there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, that one, spider. These are like together, I wouldn't, I can move away. Okay, notepad, artwork, and spider's web. Okay, just as a spider spins its web. Connect these clues to letting me out. Freedom will be quite a sight. You're talking about a website? Can I move this over here? Oh, I can't. No, I just lost it. That's cool. I can resize windows, though. That's cool. That's cool. If I go back into documents, well, yeah, they, they reset. Okay. Okay. Photos. Pictures are worth thousands of words. U equals A. Doesn't equal A? Uh oh. Did I? <laughs> uh oh. Gotta look back. I want my 20 sided die. Dropping stuff. Alright, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nope, this one definitely says U equals A. And it's different from insert, or different from this picture. Balance, balance, balance. We got box one. Final, that looks normal, ages 14 and up. That looks okay. The pen. 
See, that didn't... This wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. But it changed color back, I think. Because you see how dark it is? I can just nip it down. <laughs> you can see how dark that is. I think that's the dark version. And then if I add heat to it... Yeah, 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 yeah. So this definitely lights up. It has, like, some kind of heat thing on it. So you see how light that is now? So... Um, but you couldn't do that unless you get there. It looks like that. Looks close enough to that. That's it for pictures, huh? Ah, yeah. To V two A, V two B, V one A, V one B. These are just ideas, I guess. They went with this one. This looks much closer to the original. Huh. Huh. Hmm. That triangle is not nearly hidden that well. Like I remember I could see it before, I just didn't know that was the goal. <laughs> Photos, we got video chat. Okay, videos are better than pictures, right? Hey dude, just wanted to touch base, check in. Uh, I got your notes on the challenge cards, and uh, I had a look at it and then uh, applied them. So let me know what you think, and uh, let's catch up this weekend. I'm trying to look for a license plate or something that's a code, but I can't see the license plate. Hey, from just here. wanted to touch base, check in. Uh, I got your notes on the challenge cards, and uh, I had a look at it and then uh, applied them. So let me know what you think, and uh, let's catch up this weekend. Nah. Hey, buddy, no worries about missing coffee yesterday. I totally understand. Um, yeah, and lo loving that you like the challenge cards, though, that's great news. Uh, I actually put a lot of fun work into trying to figure out what the missing object could be that you wanted hidden through the game. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, if you could just, uh, you know, when you get a chance, uh, give me some notes. Let me know what you think. Love to see something on paper. So, all right. Take care. Uh-huh. Hey, man, I kind of need you to sign up on the challenge cards and secret object. There's I a lot of these. know it's been a week, uh, and you've been busy, but I uh, really need to get those notes in before we go to print, so any thoughts you have would be really appreciated, okay? Cool. See a lot grayer than back here? Maybe not. Okay. Hey, Martin, it's Neil. Um... The stuff is, it's not what we talked about, dude. It's not what I asked for, and it's not uh, at the right level. So you've got to keep working on stuff, please. I'm in the middle of seven different things, projects. I had a manuscript due two days ago, so I can't be chiming in with all the creative. That's what you were, that's, keep working, please. And if you have any ideas, send them my way. Work hard, please. That's what I... Creative differences. Fun times. Hey, Neil, I sent over the list of alts you wanted, including the pen idea you liked. Um, just need to know what you think is best ASAP. Kind of starting to feel like I'm working on this game by myself a little bit. Um, anyhow, any feedback would be really, really appreciated. So, anything at all, okay? Thanks, man. His shirt says something. I don't know if I can see it clearly. I think it's a really thousand. Really appreciate it, so. Anything at all, okay? Thanks, man. One thousand? Just need to know what you think is best ASAP. I don't think hey, I can see Neil. that. Okay, let's keep going. Neil, Earth to Neil. It's been three weeks since you responded to my emails or texts. There's a lot of these. Just need to know what's going on, buddy. Get back to me. Matt. Hey, Martin. Uh, quick update on stuff. Uh, I talked to my agents, and I think we are going to go a different direction with the game. It's, uh, yeah. So, um, my team will be handling all the business stuff from here on out, and I would like to be working with you directly on the creative from this point forward, if you don't mind. And don't worry about the, all that paperwork that arrived for you. Uh, it's just internal, weird legal stuff. If you could just sign them quickly. Hey. And get them back to me, I appreciate it. 
Don't worry about what the contract says. Just sign it. You'll be fine. Rough. Neil, your team has been working crazy hours here at the facility, and I just would like some direction from you as to when I'll be returning to my normal hours and also when I can leave. Also, it doesn't really feel like it's our game anymore. It feels kind of like I'm stuck here doing all the work and you're bossing everyone around. Yeah, just get, get, get back to me as soon as you can. Hey, Martin, it's Neil. Um, got your message. Uh, don't know what to tell you, man. Um, Matt. I think you need to chill out a little bit. <laughs> to be honest, this is a big game. I work really hard on this. And I know you have too, and it's crunch time. You gotta get it done, so... I need you there. I need you working hard on the game. It's what you've been hired for. What the heck? My game is important to me. We're all working hard, dude. So, take a break. But don't. Why would you save these videos? Huh. Hey, uh, hey Neil. I I'm sending this message from the factory, and I just spoke to the security guard, and he said that I'm not allowed to leave temporarily? And he's also said that it was under your orders. So, just wanted to clear that up. I mean, that's some kind of massive miscommunication. And, uh... Okay. <laughs> Smile. So, I'll uh, talk soon. Alright? Very soon. Hmm. Access denied. Interesting. Why is my access denied? Mm-hmm. Okay, that was video chat? Yeah, okay. Staff chat. Offline. No one's online. What's the point of this then? Anyone there? Martin's here. Weird. I'm logged in as guest. That doesn't make sense. Video archive. Help? This is gonna tell me the same thing, huh? Yeah, this is not part of the game. Oh, get up. <sighs> well, there you have it. Um, a lot of it says take apart the box, check out the stuff in the box. So we're going to take apart, look at the box. We're going to cipher these things. We're going to figure out what the heck these are. Listen to the voicemail from March 29, 2019. Uh, cipher password. E-F-S-F-S-F. -F -S -F. Okay, so we have email, voicemail. Let's do this. Inbox. March. There, oh, there. <laughs> there is no March. Okay. Hey, Neil. Uh, it's Martin. I think it would be cool if the player had to use a decoder ring to solve different codes. So, like, they would need to twist it so that A equals F. Then they'd be able to solve the other ciphers that we left for them by switching out the coded letters for the solutions. Right? Makes sense? Anyhow, call it back. Let's go A equals F. I think each one is going to have a different cipher. Maybe that's it. So A equals F. Therefore, E is B. I got this here. I don't, you guys can't see this. Uh, let me make this a little bit smaller so we can be all on the same page. Uh, that's over here. And do this. Okay. We, we've done this. I think this is going to be fine. Okay. So over here, if you look there, I'll try to zoom in best I can without bumping all my stuff. So there at the bottom right under the one, it says E, F, S, F, S, F. Let's go ahead and do that. So we got B, E. B is, or E is B. F is A. Ba, 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 okay, uh, S is N, B, A, N. This is banana, huh? Yeah, this is banana. See? Cypher gives us a real word. That's what I'm talking about. So this is number one. Look inside the bottom of the card holder. Okay, so this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about here. Oh, I closed the box. Look in the bottom of the card holder. This is E equals zero, or E equals O. So we change this to E equals O. This is making sense, more, much more than before. So two is going to be B, Y, that is Y then, B, Y. So B is R, Y is U. I hope this spells rum. I, K is I, P is D, uh-oh, E, A, E, O, S, O, 
Ru Banana Ruidoso. Possible I have this wrong. Cipher password. E equals O. I put that there. That's fine. A B is R. That's a Y. Maybe it's an M with like. It almost looks like an M with the part of it missing. If that's an M, that's a G. That makes less sense. How many other Ys? Oh, that's a Y. Yeah, I'm going to go with Y. Yeah, it's a Y because I can see it in the word key and the other parts. Yeah, it's a Y. Hmm. K is I. P is D. O. S. O. Rito so. I don't know what that is, but that's okay. Number three. I told you that you will need this letter later. Now, well, now is the time. You must hold it up to the bright light to continue. I wonder if putting... Okay, so that's the card I threw in the freezer. Let me go fetch that. And on that, it said... Letter. One second. Okay, so it is a chili card, but remember how I couldn't see... Oh, no, I just wiped off part of it. Remember how I couldn't see it? I'm going to show you this really quick. I just wiped off this part. But if you could look here... Oh, it's already changing. Ah, oh, that's lame. Oh, well, it was dark. It was really dark. I wonder if I can get, like, a... I'll get my bag of peas out. Okay, this is cool. I have not seen this before, but you know, I'm not too good on, or not too big on puzzle games, but that's okay. But anyway, if you freeze it, I got an ice pack here. If you freeze it, you get letters that look like this. And it will quickly fade, but I'll do this again. And get this in focus. And then you do that, and boom. So as soon as I put heat on this, I'll do that. As soon as I put heat on this, the, the letters go away. This is the same card. Same card. I'm not doing a magic trick here, guys. I know it looks like I'm doing magic. But the magic is in the ink. That's cool. Okay, so it says, meet me at the top of the hour, which is cool because it's 7 o'clock right now. So I think you actually have to wait for the hour. So let me jump into the staff chat. And it says, Martin. What does it say? Meet me at the hour. You, need the, you will need the second key. Hi. Martin, talk to me. Oxygen stories, blue wind. Oxygen stories, blue wind. That's things. That's 23 oxygen stories. Oops. Oxygen is 23. Stories is 10. Blue is 16. Win is 14. Dot, 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 dot. Oh my god, this is exciting. That doesn't look right. Try again. What? Oh, I think I put I think I put uh, the spaces there. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, this is so exciting! Remember, I was here like a minute ago and it didn't register. I had to be here at the hour. Oops. Twenty-three, ten, sixteen, fourteen. What? What is your problem? Oh, he gives me the first four. I have to type the next ones. 21, 13, 7. 21 is silent. Oops. Silent. 21, 13. Movie. I'm doing this on a crunch time. Otherwise, I'd explain. Famous. Famous. And 22 is athlete.
Finally, it's working. Okay, so, um, I'll explain what I did. Are you alone? Yes. Okay, so on this sheet, there are the, the numbers, right? And you have the two numbers, and if you look at the numbers I put on that I circled from the cards, those are the, the words he was giving me with the numbers associated. And then, so there's two sets of numbers. He gave me the first set, I gave him the second set, and then those are the what words I gave him back. Okay. Now that I know you are ready to help me, I need some time to prepare. Wait at least 24 hours and meet me here on the staff chat tomorrow at the top of the hour. In the meantime, try to access the code breaker I hid inside the floppy disk. Study the instructions I wrote for you. Sometimes Neil checks in on me here. If he does, I may have to cover my tracks tomorrow. When you come back, if you see that I type the four code words from above, please respond with the word octagon so I know it's you. I can't say much more, so bring everything with you tomorrow and make sure you come alone. Bye for now. So I have to wait until tomorrow? That's lame. Hmm. You will need the second key. Meet me at the top of the hour on the staff live chat. You will need the second key. Hmm. Wait, in the meantime, try to access the code breaker I hid inside the floppy disk. Code breaker that you hid in the floppy disk? There's nothing else in here. There's a sticker here, but I don't want to peel it off. Oh, guys, what do I do? I kind of want to try to try like in an hour, but then what do I do for the next hour? I think I need an ex another code to progress. Oh, number four is easy. It talks about the inside of the box. Let me let me minimize this. This is interesting. This is really cool. Um, oops, not that one. That one. Okay. Okay. Minimize that, put that up here. Now, if you look at over here. Okay, so number three we don't have because I think he has to, we have to wait till tomorrow. But number four says, sometimes the brightest ideas emerge in the blink of an eye, or in this case, the snap of a flash on the inside box lid. Cypher password is, I think it's an O. Yeah, that's an O Q I M H M. So that's going to be the A equals U. So let's throw that A equals U. Oh, I'm so happy to have a cipher ring. Okay, so three we don't know yet. Three is a mystery. At least uh, wait at least 24 hours. Oh my god. Okay, so four. I'm gonna put a star next to this one as well. We're gonna write this one here. Um, I'll try to get put this in the shot so we can all see. There we go. Four. This is O Q I M H M in A U. Okay. O is G. Q is E. I is M. Oh, this is Gemini. H is N. Yeah, this is Gemini. Okay, I'm still confused about number two. That doesn't seem quite right. At the bottom inside the card holder. E equals O. It can't be any other way, right? Okay. okay. You'll find this key on my desk in my room. I don't know. Place Sherlock Holmes face down in this room. Cipher password. Sherlock Holmes is that card. So I don't know five, but I think I have an idea for six, but I don't know how that's going to work out. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes now. Who said this most popular character was Sherlock Holmes? So you put Sherlock Holmes down. Oh my god. Guys, I didn't see this. I didn't see this. Look at this. You see this card? It looks like a normal card. You see the B equals thing? You put Sherlock Holmes. You put this card right here. B equals um E. That's why the E is there. So B equals E. That's your last cipher for that one. That's simple enough. Oh my god, that is clever. How did I miss that? I was so careful. 
Amazing. That's the point. That's the, that's the whole point. Okay, so B equals E is what I got. B equals E. This is cool. This is kind of exciting. This was actually worth it. Okay, my leg is getting cold from the ice pack. I'll put it on my butt. Okay, um, play Sherlock Holmes face down. We got J. Oh, we don't know. And then we got six. Okay, number six. Number four was Gemini. Number six, J. J is W. X is I. S is N. N is S. Wins. S is N, N is S. U is L? Is that a U or a V? I'm trying to find another U or a V cipher password. No, I don't find it. No. U. Is that a U or a V? Oh, it looks like the. Yeah. Looks too. Too small to be a U, it might be a V. Voicemail, uh, it's not a V, it's a U. Yeah, it looks a lot like U, U. Okay, we're gonna do U. U equals A, right? No, U equals L. Wins low, probably. R, J, R is O, and J is W. Yeah, Winslow. So we got Banana, Ruidoso, whatever that is. Um, Gemini and Winslow. Here's my notes. Well, Banana, Ruidoso, Gemini and Winslow, underline. Number five, you'll find this key on my desk in my room. Oh, shoot. We have to watch a video with his room thing going on, huh? Then I get the ciphers, right? Like, I don't know what to do with the ciphers but I'll get at least six codes, but I think I have to wait 24 hours? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe I'll try it the next hour and see if he's around. Might just be every hour on the hour. Because it's not like it said seven o'clock. It said top of the hour, so you just come at the hour. But this one's saying 24 hours. Wait at least 24 hours and meet me here in the staff chat. The top of the hour. I'm gonna guess that. In the meantime, I'm trying to access this code breaker I hid inside my the floppy disks. So the instructions I wrote for you. Sometimes you'll check some if you don't to cover my tracks. Tomorrow when you come back, if you see that I type the four code words from above, please respond. Yeah, interesting. Please respond with the word octagon so I know it's you. Can't sound much more. Interesting. I mean, I could brute force five, but I think we should look for it. Okay, so we gotta look for, not documents. What was this one, spider? Website. I almost wanna like take this picture. Can I, I can copy it. Can I change it in Photoshop? Give me a second while I look at Photoshop. You can like, if I do the tolerance to zero or one. How funny would that be if there's actually a code on this? Nah. Nah, I'd show you, but it's boring enough. I'm on Photoshop trying to make like anything happen between these things, but there's no code, no secret code. It's just an image. Nothing obvious, anyway. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, let's go back to this. I'll make this bigger so we can play along. Was it in trash? Decoder. We're looking for a key in his room. In his room. We also have Neil Patrick Harris's password. 3091987. Is that March 9, 1987? Probably. Documents, email, it wasn't in there. There was nothing visual. Photos. It's got to be one of the videos. Oh, it's annoying. 
Not hey, his room. Hey, buddy, no worries about missing coffee yesterday. I totally understand. Um, yeah, and lo love it that you like the challenge cards, though. That's great news. That's right. uh, I actually put a lot of fun working to try to figure out what the missing object could be that you wanted hidden through the game. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, if you could just, uh, you know, when you get a chance, uh, give me some notes. Let me know what you think. Love to see something on paper, so... All right, take care. I'm thinking this almost looks like an A in the background. That's gotta be too tough. That can't be it. Not in a room. Hey, Neil, I sent over the list of alts you wanted, including the pen idea you liked. Um, just starting to um, feedback. Oh. oh. Earth and spells are going right back to. Your team just also. Yeah. Get back to me. As I'm not seeing a desk. Hey, um, the fact that any... Oh, that's miscommunication. Oh, I'll talk. Access denied. Arrgh. You'll find this key on my desk in my room. Is this a cipher somehow? Peanut butter cup. This is what, this is like the main thing I'm not sure on. Other than like, can I take this somewhere and get a free peanut butter cup? That'd be cool. Somehow this is going to be like the, the whole piece of the whole puzzle. Uh, let me make this smarty, small again. I wonder, this has got to be... Are these different? Hold up, 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 hold up. Because that's video chat. Oh, these are... No, video archive? Did I not do these? I don't think I saw these. Video archive. Enter password. No, huh. I didn't see these. I wonder which one's mine. Box lids. They're making box lids, box lid keyhole. assembly. Where's his desk? I wonder how many people like got this through the insert away and they're like, oh shoot, I need that. It says do not open. Enter password. Oh, is this Neil Patrick's password? Is that why? So 3091987. Hint, my lucky numbers. Okay. 12, 7, 8, 0, 3, 29, 89. Cool. Oh. If you're watching this, thank you for making it this far. Hooray! Please don't give up. Meh. My name is Martin Loney. Hi, Martin. And I need you to know that Neil and I are the original co-creators of Box One. Okay. Until he stole it from me, took all the credit, and locked me inside this room. What a bastard. Factory. Box One was a game we created together. It was the best game we ever made. Until one day I asked him if we could finally release it to the public. And that's when he laughed in my face. He said, why would I, the Neil Patrick Harris, ever want to share name credit in a game with you? Aww. When I came to work the next day, I found that all the codes to the doors were changed, all the passwords were different, and I was locked inside, forced to make his game better. I have no way to contact the outside world, so I had to get creative. 
have hidden clues inside your game box. I can't risk telling you everything on here, but use the props in front of you and the clues hidden in my staff account. You and you alone are the only person who can help me. I'm counting on you. So it's the cipher. Please, please, get me out of here. Are you wasting more time, Martin? Camera fades to and falls onto his desk. Quick, get the card you put in the freezer earlier. Read the message in the back. Reference your challenge cards. We'll chat soon, I hope. Oh, come on. You'll find this key on my desk in my room. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't see that. Oh, you can make it big. Unfortunately, though, I can't still, I still can't see much detail here. When I came to work the next day, I found that- Quality, that's 1080p, 4K. Got 4K, buddy? You should tell the passwords. We're different. No. And I was locked inside. Forced to. Took all the credit and locked. If you're watching this, thank you for making it this far. Hmm. Please don't give up. My name is Martin Loney. And I need you to know that Neil and I are the original co-creators of Box One. Until he stole it from me, took all the credit, and locked me inside this room in his factory. Box One was a game we created together. It was the best game we ever made. Until one day I asked him if we could finally release it to the public. And that's when he laughed in my face. He said, why would I? The Neil Patrick Harris. I never want to share a name credit on a game with you. When I came to work the next day, I found that all the codes, the doors were changed, all the passwords were different, and I was locked inside. Forced to make his game better. I have no way to contact the outside world, so I have to get creative. I have hidden clues inside your game box. I can't risk telling you everything on here, but use the props in front of you and the clues hidden in my staff account. You and you alone are the only person who can help me. I'm counting on you. Please, please, get me out of here. Are you wasting more time, Martin? Get back to work. Quick, get the card you put in the freezer earlier. Read the message in the back. Reference your challenge cards. We'll chat soon, I hope. I'm checking other things on here for answers. Theory 2 doesn't do anything. Box 1. A game for one created by one. Now I see why this is a little bit more silly. Hmm. You still got the U equals A thing. We did that one already. We're looking for two more ciphers. And I still don't know what to do with the ciphers once I get them. Like I have six words, or I'll have six words, right? I got, I could probably brute force these if I really wanted to. Um, so let's go ahead and do that because we have an, an hour to kill. So we're gonna put A equals B, you know, keep it simple. This is B, A equals B. A equals, and we're gonna go from here. So I wonder, can I actually bring up a thing? We can do this through the power of technology where you guys can see me decipher everything and that will actually make it easier to go through I think because I think there'll be a pattern uh, let me do this and this and get us situated here there I'll just do this okay um More windows so you guys can see what I'm doing you know that's the fun part uh, so I need to add this add a window window capture sublime because I want to do this in sublime cool -na -na -na. okay so this is gonna be B okay so and the code is the original code is for number three 
TMZKFY. We're just going to brute force that one, and then we'll brute force the other one as well. So this is A equals B. T is I. M is P. Z is C. K is lost. <laughs> K is R. Um, F is W. Y is D. That is clearly wrong. I'm hoping I can do like one more of these and we'll figure out the pattern here. So A, this is now A equals C. I want a D20. Now that they talked about the D20, I'm just like, D20? Did you say D20? This is a U. Wait, what? Oh, I'm doing it from there. So I got to remember T from J. H-I-J. Okay, I got you now. P is going to be what? L, right? Or... Q, right? P is Q. P is N. We're going back. H, I, J. Wait, what? I feel like some of them move forward and the other ones move backwards. This is A. Uh, but duh. M. M is Q. There it is. Okay, so we're just adding one letter. C is, or this one's going to be D, D. Z is D. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, L. No. What? R, S, W, T, U, V, W, X, D, E. Like that. I think this is right. I'll double check in a little bit. J, J, K. Let's just go like this. E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Make it smaller so we can fit. So we can fit L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay. Make it a little bit smaller now that'll fit. That's fine. Okay, going really small, slow. If you're if you're watching through this, we're just putting in the background. I completely understand. Q R and I thank you for your patience. T X Y E is F. I feel like I just want to do this where K L like this M N O P Q R S T U V W. Hopefully one of these will say a word. I don't know what the what just happened. W X Y Z A. So if T if A is T, let me just double check. This is how I double check. Always check your work. A equals T. Where is it going with this? If A equals T, right. Then T equals A. Oh, well, duh. Okay. Duh. Okay. Uh, U, B, V, C, D, E, F, and G. And H would be if A equals A. No. Oh, if A equals A. Oh, that's interesting. A equals A, then everything's flipped anyway, except N is still lining up. Okay, we need one more then. Um, I wonder, can I make this a little bit bigger? Hmm. We do this and like that. We do this. A, and then this is going to be, we'll put this over here. H. Oh, L -M -A O P B Q W is T U V, and then C. I think that's right. V W X Y Q R S T B C D O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z A B C D. That's how you brute force. E F G H I J K L oops L M N B C E D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S getting faster T U V W X Y Z. If you guys are following along and you're wondering how I'm typing and the way I'm typing, I'm on the I'm not on a QWERTY keyboard. I'm on a Dvorak keyboard. T U V. Something interesting about me. I taught myself Dvorak, and now I love it. Z A B C D E F G 
H I J K L M oops L M N O P Q at the top. Uh, if you don't know what Dvorak is, it's a different layout of keys. They say they say it's not, but it probably isn't. But they say it's a better way to type uh, A B C D E F G. And your keyboard can be a Dvorak keyboard today. It's in your software. Okay, just have to find the right. Um, Keyboard in your in your keyboard settings. N O L N N O P Q R S T U. As you can see, I'm not looking at my hands when I type because it doesn't help. Only A and M are the same. G H I J K L M N O. Oops. O P Q R S T U V W X y z i should be looking at what i'm doing before i get this far which one makes a word why laughing tancho <coughs> good night, pub Well, okay then. Um, I'm pretty sure I did that, right? We can double check. I'm gonna grab M. If A equals M, let's put A equals M. So that's all the different combinations, right? A equals M. T M Z K F Y. Uh huh. T is. T is T. Yep. M is A. Yeah, that's all good, I think. I'll keep checking. Tancho. Okay, we still haven't used Neil Patrick Harris's uh, password yet. A equals F. Where did, oh, right. That was the first one. Did one, did two. I'm going to write the ciphers next to it. Maybe there's a pattern there. So number one was A equals F. Two is E equals O. Number four was the brightest idea of Flash. This is the A equals U. And Winslow was Sherlock Holmes. B equals E. Okay, so they're using E's and B's, or E's and A's at least a lot, in the, but that, that doesn't mean anything. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I'm going to double check this, because you know it would be really funny if this is actually, there's something in here. Uh, oops. Sorry, I'm checking this. I need to throw my ice pack back before it melts and gets water everywhere. Nada. You think like the back of it would have something on it? That'd be kind of cute. So no bad. The pen was interesting, but that's it. Okay, let me throw this back in. And we're back. We got 29 minutes until the top of the hour. I don't know if we need to wait till tomorrow. If so, that'll be a shame. Um, I kind of want to brute force the other one, but at this rate, we got Tancho as the best thing, and I don't know if that's actually correct, and I don't know where to check for that thing, so... <sighs> I don't know. That was number three. Number five, let's let let's go ahead and do it, because why not? Why not? Why not? What can, what can hurt? Okay, so we're going to get a, maybe I'll just copy and make a new one here. And then get rid of, I think, this is the power of Sublime. You can take everything here and delete. Delete. Okay. 
Where are you at? In space. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is going to be our new one is W E Q W E R A Q P. Oh, let me make it uppercase. W E W E Q W E R A Q P. That looks like it should be something spe spectacular. This is you'll find this in the key on my desk in my room. I'm wondering about the other one because it seems like the one that I just tried, he's going to give a special cipher, and I don't know if Tancho is the right answer, but that's the best I got. Um, but it might be like, for the first few letters, use this. For the next few letters, use that or something. So it would be like a combination thereof. That would be cool. So we'll, we'll see here. Um, otherwise, we got A. A equals A. I was, okay. Yeah, I thought they would cipher correctly, but they, or cipher exactly as A equals A, but that doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, so we got A equals A, W is E, keep caps lock on, we're going to do that, E, W is E, W, E is W, E, W is E, yep, Q, W, Q is K, W is E, and then W again, R, A, Q, P. J R A is A Q P K L. I think that's right. Okay, so let's try this. E F F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S. I figured this would be easier to do in, in Excel, but oh well. T U V W X Y and Z A B. C and D and sometimes Y. Okay. Um F T U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I J K L M Oops. M N O P Q R S T U V E J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Sky looks good. Uh, T U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I J. The other thing that would make this really interesting is if you can't brute force it because there's a couple of answers. Um, F G. This also says Jim. We got Jim and Sky, which is really interesting. Jim. G H I J K L M N O P Q R S Sky uh, Sky Scrape. I don't know. S T U V W X Y Z A B C D. W, X, Y, Z, this is like Jim, uh, H, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, I'm going to double check one of these because I might have something wrong here, K, L, M, N O P Q R S T U V. This is so exciting. V W X. Uh oh. Y Z A B C D E F G. That's not a G. H I. Huh. V C D. E F G E H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z L M N O P E Q R S Oh, this is it, isn't it? This one right here.
mesmerize. Interesting. Uh, S T U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I J L M N O P Q R S T Mesmerist U V this has gotta be it. This is my guess. V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I J K Oh, this guy's Yeah, that's the only one that makes sense. Let's go with that one. So number five is Mesmerist. Um, and it could be any combination of whatever. A, yeah, any of these. So the only thing is, I don't understand is where to find that information. Where to, get, where to find this cipher right there. So I'm a little confused on that one. But other than that, Banana, Ruidoso, Gemini, Mesmerist, Winslow. Three nine one nine eight seven three nine one nine eight seven. Oh my God! Is that why I do? And this is n nine is one two three four five six seven. Oh my God! That doesn't work. Eight nine is U, but I don't know if that works. But we'll throw a U there anyway. I is going to be a blank. Um, nine doesn't work again. Eight one two three four five six seven eight S. And last one is seven one two three four five six seven W. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Looks like these words are important. Neil Patrick Harris's password, it all ties together at the end. There's the peanut butter loyalty card. I don't get it. We're still holding on to this. I tried making it cold and seeing if it changed, but there's nothing on it. I don't think there's anything to do with this. Maybe you tear it in half and something happens. I really want a peanut butter cup, though. Mm. Um, other than we wait for the, the hour to happen, I don't know what to do. We got all the ciphers. I might just have to cut the video here and wait till we get there. It says it's on a on his desk in his room. I just want to verify that one. Maybe that would be useful. But again, I think the only way to figure that out is if we um, look at this stuff. I'll put that on top here. Uh, I need to put this one here. And Sublime can go away. Okay, I think we just have to look at the videos and find where his room is. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna double check the password, Neil's password. Um just for funsies. Oh, I'll put this up here. Okay. Um so clear that do not open. We need the password again, that's fine. So we use the lucky numbers. A dubious friend, maybe an enemy in camouflage. This is probably him talking about Neil. Dubious is an interesting word. Oh, bloody blah. Okay, I want to look in the trash. Where was this? In this one, right? Password. <laughs> Okay, that's clearly zero three zero nine one nine eight seven. I'm also thinking that's a birthday, but whose birthday would it be? Why is that significant? Let's look it up. March nine. One nine eight seven. Moon sign. We do have Gemini. 
Banana Ruidoso. I wonder if this is all about someone. On this day. It looks like all these people all these things are hints for one person. They were a Gemini, it's been banana for some reason. I don't know. Historical events, Chrysler Corps offered to buy American Motor Corps for one billion dollars. Little Bow Wow. That looks like Barely Winslow. American rapper, beware of dogs, born in Columbus. Bobby Locke died, South African golfer. It was a Monday. Star sign was Pisces, not Gemini. And it was, uh, the Chinese zodiac was rabbit. This doesn't do anything. Huh. I don't know. It's a birthday for something, though. Okay. What if we hit empty? Unable, uh, access denied, unable to remove files. That's fine. There might be like secret videos if I, if I do this and resize. Let's go ahead and do that. There's nothing. Is this his desk? Not a desk and then there's no information there. Bech. Um... My room, my desk. Here. Unfortunately, this is the printing press. It's not actually anything to show you a desk in a room. It says, you'll find this key on my desk in my room. That where he's being held captive. We did that one. We did that one. We did that one. This is Neil Patrick Harris, the handsome dude. Can I resize this and see more? Nope. This is the decoder ring. That all looks normal. I can't flip the decoder ring. It doesn't do anything if I flip it. I, uh... Hep! Waiting 14 minutes while I figure out where the heck this is. I can't zoom in on that. Maybe there is something there. Decoder ring 4.3. Can't empty. Email. We did that. I was hoping it would be another pat, uh, another email or something sent out. It'd be kind of fun if it updated. Notepad artwork, we did that. Spider web. I don't understand this one. Photos, U equals A. I don't understand what this is. Doesn't equal. Can equal. Huh. Photos, video chat. See, I think we need to do this, but he's outside here. Hey, dude, just wanted to touch base, check in. Uh, I got your notes. And it's super loud. Cards, and uh, I had a look at it and uh, applied them. So let me know what you think, and uh, let's catch up this weekend. Hey, buddy, no worries about missing See, coffee yesterday. I totally understand. Oh, there's no doubt. Um, 
Yeah, and lo loving that you like the challenge cards, though. That's great news. I uh, actually put a lot of fun work into trying to figure out what the missing object could be that you wanted hidden through the game. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, if you could just, uh, you know, when you get a chance, uh, give me some notes. Let me know what you think. Love to see something on paper. So, all right. Take care. Also, these are, like, in rooms with the map. Why does that matter? So that's Banana, Rui Doso, I think. And then something, and then Gemini is there. Mesmerist is there. Winslow is there. The whole thing is a square. Hmm. Hey, man, I kind of need you to sign off. I've been busy. There's notes in. And I would be good, okay? Cool. There's nothing about the desk, I don't think. Hey, so you've got to keep working on When you send Hey, Neil, I sent over the list of alts you wanted. That included the pen idea you liked. Um, just need to know what you think is best ASAP. Kind of starting to feel like I'm working on this game by myself. A little bit. Um, anyhow, any feedback would be really, really appreciated, so anything at all, okay? Thanks, man. There's nothing. Neil, Earth to Neil, it's been three weeks since you responded to my emails or texts. Just need to know what's going on, buddy. Get back to me. All the other ones are so straightforward on this. You will find this key on my desk in my room. Silent athlete movie win, letter A, secret, Harry Potter, Scar, Lion King, Chess, Washington, Sword, one dollar bill. What? You guys missed a file. Neil, you know, your team has been working crazy hours here at the facility, and I just would like some direction from you as to when I'll be returning to my normal hours and also when I can leave. Also, it doesn't really feel like it's our game anymore. It feels kind of like I'm stuck here doing all the work and you're bossing everyone around. Yeah, just get, get, get back to me as soon as you can. Hey, um, hey Neil, uh, I'm sending this message from the factory and I just spoke to the security guard. I broke it. It's bogging down. Hey, um, hey Neil, I I'm sending this message from the factory and I just spoke to the security guard and he said that I'm not allowed to leave temporarily. And he's also said that it was under your orders. So just wanted to clear that up. Hoping that's some kind of massive miscommunication and uh, Okay, so I'll talk soon, all right? Very soon. If, okay, if, let's see. If we got A equals F e equals O. A is equal to S. A is equal to U, that's fine. B equals E. A equals F. Hmm. What do I do? Hmm. 
What do I do? All I got is I'm waiting for the hour to happen. And if, it, if I can't get anything from him there, then I'm going to stop for now and come back tomorrow. Notepad R, work, documents, that was that. Start have anything else? Help, video chat, staff chat, no. Lame. Where do you get a picture of his room? It's possible five comes from three, I wonder. Okay, so if that's it, M equals W. A equals I. Still not sure about five, no idea on three. Unless Tan shows it, I don't think Tan shows, right? Hmm. Kind of dead air while I'm thinking. I don't really know what's going on. Um, code idea. These are all fine and dandy, but I'm missing the one thing I need here. No clock, no MPH thing to click on. That's the do not open one, but I want the video one. I want this last one. Why is my access denied? It's a little thing apart, I think. A little black envelope. This feels really thick for some reason. There's a flap there. I can't imagine this is what I'm supposed to do. What if I try to put this in here? No, got tweezers. I don't think you need tweezers for this puzzle, but I'm gonna use tweezers. Is this glued in? I don't know, I can get it. I think I'm ripping paper. Oh, but there is something. There is definitely something in this thing. I think it says congratulations. That's it? Aw, man. I've got a golden ticket. It was inside the black bag all along. So it was in the back. I told you it felt thick. I said that from day one. Um, there's secret stuff on here. It says congratulations and says you have mastered and completed and blah, 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 blah. Um, I want to show you this, but I will show you this after we figure out everything else, because there are still a couple things that we have not figured out. Um, and it says, welcome to the club. To confirm your completion, go to this website address, keep top secret. So I have a website to go to and a password, and you guys are not going to see that, because who knows, maybe it's a one-time use only. Um, but, I told you, yeah, there was something about that. Hmm. Okay, so I'm still thinking, although I have no idea how to open this other than breaking it open, I still think...
I still think there's something in the back of this, in that section there. Maybe not. I think maybe not. Cause it just feels so much more solid than the uh, the rest of it's rest of the bits here. <sighs> I want my D20. <laughs> Where's my D20 at? But maybe that's it for the insert. There's no way to open it. The only way to open it would be probably to like take the whole thing apart. That's cool. Okay, so what's what, what's missing? We're missing Neil Patrick Harris's um, password. We're missing, like we got we got the card, which is cool. Again, I can't share that with you because, or at least I'll put up the video first after, or I'll put the video up after I go check that out. But that's done. This is this little black thing is done. So let's put stuff away. That's done. I don't need the instructions anymore. I'm pretty sure we're done with that. I like that they have a hint guide though. I might check that out after and see what I could have gotten from the hints, just to see, just to see, just to see. But not not before I figure out what's going on. So it is 7:59. Let's go and check about the uh, the video chat here. No, I'm sorry, the video, uh, the staff chat. Martin's offline. Let's pray that he gets on in a second. How are we doing on time? 21. I wonder if I can just advance my uh clock here and it would just register u equals a this box is solid but other than that there's not there's yeah there's nothing with the thing i think we got to use the word octagon longest minute of my life eight seconds going That's kind of cool with the actual timing thing. I'm sure you could cheese it though. Online, Martin. Hi. Yeah, I'm gonna change the date. Do this like we do on the Switch. Um, how do you change the date? Adjust date in time, there we go. We're gonna do 23 change. Snapchat. Yeah, Martin's there. <laughs> Octagon. Today's the day you break me free. I didn't actually need 24 hours to prepare. I just needed a way to confirm that you weren't MPH. She would have redeemed a free peanut butter cup by now. What shape is on the bottom right corner of the peanut butter cup loyalty card? I don't need it. I, a star. Sorry, if you guys can't see, star. I don't know, man. I got my free one. I threw the card away. Yes, okay. I need your help to escape this place. I'm locked in my office, room one. But I need your help to remotely unlock all six rooms in order and get me out of this facility. Please hurry. I just granted you viewing privileges on my last recording in the video chat folder. Use that information along with the password buried in the trash. Okay, to access nphsecuritysolutions.com, you now have everything you need to get me out of here. Thank you, whoever you are. Whomever you are? Whoever? I don't know. Copy link address? Does that work? Okay, so hopefully video, ch what was that video chat? Last one on the video chat. I can watch this one now. Sweet. Neil, sorry, Mr. Harris. Um, <laughs> Mr. I don't Harris. know what fresh air or sunlight are anymore. Help, help me. me, please help. I'm sending you this message in hopes that the right eyes and ears receive it. Your pen is mightier than the sword. So look inside it to see how to use it. I hope this makes sense to you at home. I need your help. Please hurry. Thank you. Yeah, I got that. That was that was one of the first things I found was this. And this just said, open the back so you could find the, uh, the map of the thing. 
yeah to get the password so this is people at this point are not supposed to open the back of the box yet and i did that from like five minutes in so oh well um i like this pen it is kind of a cute cute keepsake for a pen though that they give you an official they give you a little bit of swag here like some of the stuff in the box you don't really need to keep but like the the, the decoder is pretty good um, I'm glad we finally used the peanut butter cup card. That was going to drive me insane. Uh, the pen is sleek and nice and very cute. Um, so this is pretty good. Let's look at this site. Password. Um, oh, Neil Patrick Harris. Is this where we put his password in here? 3091987. Yeah. Just ask me to remember the passwords. We got camera one, we can lock that. We got camera one password. Camera one is banana. Hey buddy. Oh, there's a cipher, A equals I. You guys see this right there? A, there's an A written out with markers, A equals I. And that's what I had for number five. Cool, that was, that's simple then. Uh, we gotta figure out the trash. What was number three? Oops, number three. I told you you'll need this later. You must hold it up to the bright light to continue. Must hold it up to the bright light. So maybe I'm not doing that correctly. Maybe I need to find the bright light again. Bright light. I got my, my phone here. Let me see if I can put a... But there's nothing on it. Or you have to look through it? No way. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys can't see this. It's actually see-through here. I don't know if I can do this on the camera. This is what we're missing. Can you guys... Oh, I think I almost had it. I need a really strong light, not, not my little tiny thing here. Let me get my uh, mag light flash, mag, mag light flashlight. I might have to turn off lights here to make it work. This is cool. I can't believe I missed this. Okay, so if I unplug lights, just for a second, just for a second, and go to, okay, there's the card. Okay, so can you guys see this? Does this work? Yeah, there you go. B equals L. You see that right there? It's see through through the card. The card looks like that. Card looks like that. This is the one with the, the text on it too. But B equals L. You can shine the light through there and you can see it. That's crazy. That's smart. And it was in the fridge the entire time, so you can't really tinker with it. They're like, okay, we're just going to keep it in the fridge. We won't touch it. Because who, who's looking at it while it's in the fridge? That's cool. Okay, so anyway, B equals L. That's for number three. Okay, so B equals L. And we have all those out already, so B equals L. <clears throat> so if we go back to Sublime, put that on top. We got this for the first one, for this one. So A, A equals A. So if B equals L, what does A equal? B equals L, A equals M. Ten, Tancho is correct. Okay. I don't know what Rui Doso is, I don't know what Tonsho is, but apparently those are the answers here. I'll have to look those up in a second. We are making progress, guys. This is cool. Camera 2, camera 2 password. Number 2 was Rui Doso. Go, buddy, go. We're not watching the little videos here, but he's, it's unlocked. You can go through now, buddy. He said go through the trash. I don't know what he meant by go through the trash. Okay, so I think each one he makes like progress and he gets through another door, but then he's like, oh shoot, oh shoot, a door. And then we have to open the next door. Well, the next one is Tancho. Glad I wrote all these down. This is simple now. Camera four. 
Security guard is sleeping. Great. Perfect. Dun 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 Alright, Gemini. He just chills on the floor while he's waiting for doors to open. I like this guy. This actor is this actor is funny. I wonder who he is. Uh, other than maybe the, maybe he's using his real name. I don't know. Hallway northeast corner. This one is. So I think he's actually walking through this this facility here. Um, he's actually walking through this bit. Oh, he just said thank you. I'm going this way. Sometimes I think I should take a break, then I keep working instead. Do that. that. I think this is a quote from, maybe he says other stuff, but I know this is very similar from one from Big Bang Theory. No, I'm sorry. Uh, How I Met Your Mother. Wow. Where he says, um, sometimes I feel like I'm getting sick, but then I just be awesome instead. Do that. <laughs> Something like that. Be awesome instead. Okay, so we got uh, Mesmerist. Uh-oh. Number five is not working the way I thought it was. Let's try it one more time. Let's do this again. Number five. Let's we got we know A equals I. Let's do this correctly. So we got W. We gotta set this to A equals I. We got W. I'll use the back of this page. A equals I. W is M. E is E. <laughs> Q is S, E is, no, I'm sorry, W is M again, E is E again, R is R, A is I, Q is, that's a Q, Q is, I know I already have it, but just checking S, and then P is T. Uh-oh, put Mesmerist, buddy. Okay, works this time. Go figure. Go figure. I wonder if it was because I didn't use uppercase or something. I don't know what the heck was wrong. I'm pretty sure I did that right. Maybe I had a typo. Mesmerist. Oh, I spelled it, I spelled it with an I instead of an E in the middle. Mesmerist instead of mesmerist or whatever. Whatever I did. Anyway, it was wrong. Okay. Number six. Dum bum bum bum. This is the last one. We have one more word and it is Winslow. Winslow, number six, unlocked. Sits on the floor. Go, buddy, go. Go, doors open, go, run. Don't get hit, don't get caught by Neil. Run away. We're breaking, we're breaking our boy out of jail. Yes. Could he just like break through the glass if push comes to shove, really? Like just smash the glass. You're welcome, buddy, run. Go, 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 go. I'm saying thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys can't really see this, unfortunately. Um, Put the blind back. Congratulations, click to continue. I won the game. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> That's another line from Hi Mesh Mother. Here we go. Did you really think I wasn't watching? Uh-oh. Did you really think I wouldn't be tracking your every move one step ahead no matter how hard you tried? Creepy. <laughs> that you could just win? Hmm. I got a gold card. So shines a good deed in the weary world. Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? And you did it. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Charlie you in the Chocolate won. Factory. You won, Charlie. You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! Oh, we're Charlie Buckets. Congratulations. You have completed box one. You've solved every puzzle, you've opened every box, you've cracked every code, and I couldn't be happier. I am thrilled. What about the gold card? Box one is an idea that I came up with a few years ago when I was visiting some friends in upstate New York. We were playing a game, and we were discussing how many party games there were out there, right? There are tons. And I thought, what if there was a game that was not for a group of players, not for four to ten players, not for two to six players, not even for a couple, but just for one? just for you. 
And what if, when you buy the game and you start playing it, it then evolves into something else entirely, something that you just weren't expecting? And thus, it works. Box One was born. Cool concept. I wanted deceiving gameplay, and I wanted high production values to make it worth your while, and your scratch. So I joined forces with the brilliant Jonathan Bain and his unparalleled team at Theory 11. They... Oh, that. not theory two. Came up with the countless like three elevens that you just worked through. Hollowed out stacks of cards, boxes that open up to reveal maps. Oh, <laughs> uh, ink that can only be seen when hot or cold or photographed. Floppy disks with things and what? I couldn't be happier with their work, and I couldn't have done it without their expertise. Cool stuff. And for the record, Martin Maloney was not involved in this at all. In fact, the man who you thought was Martin Maloney is actually an actor friend named James. Say hi, James. Hey, Neil. You did a good job. Nice job, dude. You have to do a lot of random waiting in hallways for people to make decisions acting. And that cannot be easy. So, well played. Yeah, Martin Maloney, not his real name. In fact, if you take the letters in Martin Maloney and you rearrange them, it spells not my real name. Anagrams are dope. So, I feel like you need a reward for all of your hard work. So, remember the card you got at the beginning of the game? The one that said you will need this later? I know that you have used that many times before. But I wasn't just talking about the card. I was also talking about the black envelope that it came in. So take a look at that envelope. It's one more secret. There's a hidden flap concealing your reward. Go to the website that's on that card and confirm your win. And that's it. Please tell all your friends about box one, but only if you don't tell them any of the secrets, don't tell them anything about it, and only if you think that they will dig it. I am super proud of you, truly. I am chuffed. I was convinced that you possessed all of the skills necessary to see this thing through to the end. And you did. Bravo. I'll see you soon. Hopefully, with further instructions. This is MPH. Signing out. The golden card. This is the one he's talking about. I'm not going to show you any details on it. Don't even try to freeze frame. Don't even steal my reward. It's not fair for anyone. Um. Anyway, that's it. Uh, that looks like it's the end of the game. So that's how you get from here. I think I used every single piece. I am not without end here. I don't know what he said by a t check the trash. That was a little strange. Um, but yeah, I found. <laughs> I feel like I found like half the secrets before. But there were there were a couple where I was like, oh shoot. Uh, the one where you have to hold this one up to the light. Or I saw the secret thing, but then you have to like hold it up so you can see through it. That was. That was amazing to see the, the cipher there. Um, finding the cipher, getting the cipher wheel. This is this is heavy duty. This is like real metal. This will last. This almost feels like a fidget spinner. Um, this is this is cute. The pen is solid. Um, the note notepad is real paper, but that's just it feels like a, a thing out of Clue where you get the notepads out of there. Um, the cards are probably not that interesting. I probably could toss those. Uh, the, the the box is kind of cute. Um, but I kind of destroyed it from the top anyway. But, oh well. And nothing fits inside the box anymore that I would have put in there, so. Um, yeah, this is cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, I'm going to stop about here and go figure out what the heck my prize is. I'm not sharing that bit. That's a secret. Uh, that'll be my secret against all of you. Ma ha 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 ha. Um, but, you know, contact me. I might tell you if it's if it's worth it. Um, otherwise, definitely check this out. This is cool. Um, give this to your friends. Uh, if you have any friends that dig this kind of thing, this was, this was a trip. It took me, what, roughly... Roughly two hours, I want to say, uh, two and a half hours maybe. Uh, let's 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 say under three. Um, but that that was that was cool. Um, yeah, I got to clean up all the all the pieces here. Let me show you what my desk looks like, and we'll go from there. Uh, let me do this one, this one, this one, that one. There we go. And then get rid of the line. Yeah, so I got my keyboard there. I get out of the way. Uh, so again, this this is heavy duty. Um, this this is metal and everything. This slides really well. Uh, if this ever gets gummy, you can just like from oils, I guess, on your hands. Uh, you can probably lubricate it up. This is this is chintzy. This is 
I mean, this is useful for what it was, but now it's done. Uh, same thing with this. This is kind of cute. I thought the chain would be... That'd be kind of cool if the chain was actually used for something to push something or to get something or magnetize or something. But um, it's not. Um, but yeah, solid product. This is decent. This was worth the, the price tag. Um, it's always fun to see what Neil Patrick Harris is up to anyway and to get uh, inside his head a little bit and see what's going on with, with his world. Uh, so I really recommend this if you... If you are anyone, uh, if you've watched the whole thing, then you know all the secrets, except for the, the final one that I don't know. I, I honestly haven't gotten it there yet. Um, I'm not even going to go to the website on camera to give you a reaction. I'm just going to wait until I quit here, and then I will go probably right after I'm done here. Um, but this was cool. This was very, very interesting. Um, so if you have any friends that know stuff about puzzles and they like puzzles, uh, Get them this. Don't tell them anything. Don't tell them, uh, you can say, I watched, you could, whatever, I watched this guy on YouTube, work his way through it. I think you'll dig it. Um, it was cool. Uh, I'll give it at least nine, probably ten stars out of ten, uh, if you want to review the score. But don't tell them, again, don't tell your friends about what this is. Just say, here, here's a puzzle box. Just open it, and it's a puzzle. Figure it out. Here's a box, figure it out. This is, give it for a gift. It would make a really cool uh, birthday gift randomly. If you don't know what to get a person in there, into puzzles, escape room stuff. Uh, that's kind of what drew me here. I saw an ad from Neil Patrick Harris, and uh, friends were saying, oh, yeah, it looks like something that you'd be into. This is interesting. This was cool. Um, and the box was actually a map, and the, the box was actually a secret compartment thing, and the, bo the cards weren't actually all cards. Like, this is cool. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, I keep saying cool, and I'm going to end the video here. Um, re highly recommend this. This was, this was awesome. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you guys on the next video.